Welcome back, this is Yama Jack, and today we've got Gunslinger Suicidal Ashford Asylum. I let it pick a random one. I let it pick a random one. I wanted to... I like random. I like playing on random, but... Excuse me, my goodness. Uh, it gives us, uh... Not very good stuff all the time. I mean, I like Ashford Asylum. Ashford Asylum is a good map. But, uh, there, there isn't a whole lot of variation in it, you know? It's all the same. You let random pick it, you get evacuation point, you get Ashwood Asylum, maybe an airship at times, biolabs, biotics lab, you know? You don't really get, um, not seeing any, uh, any of my custom maps, you know, it's all the, uh, all the official maps. Some maps I don't want to do as well, some maps I'm, uh, just not a fan of, like, um, uh, what did I not do? I got, I got like a testing map, which I did the uh, perk preview video in. I've got, uh, <laughs> ran right into it. I've got, uh, I probably wouldn't want to do, oh, there's, there's this one map where it's like just a big cube and you like run up and down it and stuff with all these Uh, ramps and stuff leading up to ledges. It's just one big room with a bunch of ramps and stuff in it. I can't remember what it's called. Cube of something or other, whatever. I can't remember. That one's not so great. Um, I can't. I can't think of any other names. Any other? Any other maps that I wouldn't want to play on? The Descent probably wouldn't want to play on that one. Um, Santa's Workshop wouldn't want to play that. Santa's, I like Santa's Workshop. It's a fantastic map. It's like a lovely map. You know, it's it's a lovely map. It's great. It's it's a really, really solid map. It's just forced objective mode. Which is really, really not fun for me. Um, forced objective mode, it's not it's not my cup of tea, you know? It's not uh, it's not what I want. I want I want survival. <laughs> I'm I'm traumatized by uh, by objective mode, and I didn't even like it before I got traumatized, so it's it's real bad, you know. But uh, you be dead. did he just like get bounced off of his face or something like that? Like, just had a bullet just bounce off his face, right? Pretty sure. Pretty sure we just had a bullet bounce off that guy's face. Apparently I was talking to a friend of mine who has a, uh, a Valve Index about uh, Minecraft in VR. And apparently the boats are the ones that really uh, end up making you nauseous. I'm excited to try that out. <laughs> I'm excited to try that out. But apparently it's because uh, if, if you ever sat in a boat in Minecraft, you know how it, uh, as you kind of like move around your head your your camera kind of stays locked this is a giant pipe whereas the rest of um entirely. have you checked your ammo everything else kind of so. changes as you like moving around and stuff as you turn uh everything else changes but your view stays the same so like the world would kind of like rotate you around you apparently that's really di uh disorienting um when stuff like that happens I'm excited to try it. See how uh, see how much it makes me sick. I'm excited to try out. Uh, like Minecraft is one of the games that I'm the most excited about, honestly, for the VR. Just because there's so many things you can do in it, right? There's so many things you can do in uh, in Minecraft. Um, it, it it fulfills so many of the the genres of VR games that uh, that you would otherwise kind of have, you know. Like, um, any kind of, like, RPG game, you can kind of replace a lot of that with, with like, modded Minecraft, right? Um, yeah, I'm excited to try out, uh, a lot of the things in Minecraft. I don't know, I'm just, I'm so excited about VR. It's all I can think about right now, okay? I'm gonna be talking about it until I get it, and then I'm probably gonna be talking about it until a while after, because I'm gonna be super hyped to have it and be playing it and want to talk about, you know, playing it all the time. Um, <laughs> this is just, you know, this is just the way that uh, it goes, right? It's just, it's just how, it, it's just how it be sometimes, right? I just, I want to talk about it because, uh, I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm so excited. I don't have anybody that I can really talk to about it either. Um, 
My sister's not super excited. None of my friends really want to just listen to me ramble about how excited I am. This is kind of the, the right place to do it, right? It's kind of the, the purpose of this, is to get that uh, that excitement out there and have a place where I can kind of vent my frustrations and vent my excitations and all of the other Asians. But I'm excited. I'm excited. Minecraft is one of the games that I'm, I'm like most excited for, for sure. I'm just, I think it's gonna, I think that Minecraft is gonna be, I'm either gonna like, yeah, there, there, there's three options for Minecraft, right? There's three options for Minecraft with regards to VR. I'm either gonna be like, wow, that was like a nifty experience. Maybe I'll try like some adventure maps with this or like, you know, every now and then kind of thing, you know, as a, as a once in a while kind of thing. Um, or I'll be like, yeah, I never want to play Minecraft outside of VR because it's just so much more immersive and so much cooler to be doing all the things that I do in Minecraft, but in VR, you know? And then there is uh, <laughs> the third option, which is, wow, that was a terrible experience and I never want to go through that ever again. I am sick and I'm not going to play VR for the next, like, 10 years. A little bit of a hyperbole, perhaps, but... Um, you know, those those are the three options that I've got after I try out the Minecraft. I'm hoping, I'm hoping it makes me uh, like so hyped to to play Minecraft in VR. I have like I have ideas for how to set up VR and stuff too. I don't know I don't know how much customization I get or or how easy it is to make like VR apps or stuff like that. But um, cause cause I wanna I want what I want is I want to see. How practical, um, like replacing my monitors with VR is, right? Like, like, can I just get away with not having to have a whole bunch of monitors and just exclusively play in VR? Well, not necessarily exclusively. It's probably not very good for your eyes. Um, but like, um, you know, like, like, generally speaking, playing uh, in VR. Um, and, and go about my, my usual gaming stuff in VR. But I uh, I require having Discord open on the side at all times because I talk to my friends like all of the time. I talk to my friends, I talk to my clannies, I talk to the Discords I'm in. You know, I talk to people all the time. I'm a very talkative individual if you haven't noticed. Um, yeah, you know, we can, no wait, stop. Um, very talkative individual. And uh, I need to have Discord open, so I want to find some way that I can have a VR gaming experience, but still have Discord visible, right? Um, and then I also I uh, I alt tab a lot. Well, I don't alt tab. I uh, I like switch to a different workstation um, in my desktop. So I've got um, like got this one, which is my first workstation or work desk space workspace area. I don't know. Um, and, uh, then I have, like, a second one, a third one, a fourth one, a fifth one, and a sixth one. Uh, the sixth one is typically for games. The fourth one is also typically for games, but, like, different games. The fifth one is usually for, um, Steam, but Steam kind of breaks with the way that I have it set up, so it kind of doesn't work so well. Um, and then the third one is for... Um, like, uh, notepad, file browsers, stuff like that. And then the second one is so that I can actually see my desktop if I want to. Um, and I just, I just, I just switch back and forth and I have like whatever applications I need are, are always available. I don't have to alt tab really ever. Um, and that, replacing that in like a dis, in a, in a VR environment is... I'm I'm gonna guess not the easiest of things to do. Um, I would like to though if I can, you know. But I, I imagine it's not the easiest of things to have um, happening in a in a VR environment, right? Just because uh, you don't really get like like you you don't you don't. I don't know. You, you don't get desktops really in a 
in VR so much, right? Like, you, you could set it up, but it's not really... I don't know, I've, I've never used VR, so I'm talking out my butt at this point, you know? But, um, come on. We're, we're, we're gonna do it, we're gonna do it. Come on, come on! Perfect! Flawless! Easy! Let's go! Ooh, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Who cares about King Flesh Pound? If you take damage to King Flesh Pound, you're bad. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, I'm just saying. I've never used VR, so I don't know. Maybe I'm talking on my butt, you know? I don't I don't know. But, uh... I think... That, uh... I gotta get a couple of ideas to make it work anyway. I got a couple of ideas to make it work. I think that it could be very disorienting if you're switching back and forth between... Um... Like, uh, desktops and stuff, you know? I think that could be really disorienting. I've, I've never experienced it, so I don't know, but I, I feel like it could be. If it's like your reality, <laughs> you know? And then it's, it's just like switching back and forth rapidly, right? Because I can do, um, hold up. We'll, uh, we'll put this on here. So I can switch over here. I'm actually switching to like several different ones right now. So for you to open up uh, like this here, actually no, this is a bad example. Um, for you to open up this, I could like switch over here and then back and like I can open up this one here. This one's over there. We can like switch around and stuff and it's very, very simple for me because I'm used to it, you know? That would be very disorienting um, if I were to have like, you know, games open on one web browser, open another one and and just kind of hop back and forth around everywhere, that would be very disorienting, I think. Um, so I don't know. I'd have, to, I'd have to figure it out. And then I don't know what the health risks are for, for you know, being in VR for extended periods of time. Like, what's, what's you know, how long are you supposed to be playing uh, VR games at a time, you know? Like, I don't I don't know. I, I assume there there's a limit. I assume it's not very good to be that close to screens that are not very good for being that close to. Because, <laughs> I mean, the thing with VR is there's, there's definitely a screen door effect, right? It's not it's not a flawless experience. Um, so I imagine that being prolonged exposure to VR probably doesn't have enough testing done. It's just probably what they say. There's, they say, uh, they, they probably say um, that, uh, you know, nothing has been found or whatever. But you know, do you wanna do you wanna be the kind of person that does like 15 hours of VR a day? I imagine it's not a particularly wise decision. It'd be nice if you could, though, right? It'd be nice if you could just uh, replace your monitors with VR. Who needs who needs monitors, right? If you got VR. Now. Yeah, you have an issue with that too, right? Wherein uh, you you can pretend you you can you can put yourself in a in a virtual space, right? And then you can you can have the monitors sitting in front of you in your virtual space, and you can have as many monitors as you want. Um, but you know this monitor that I'm looking at right now is 1080p, right? Um, and then the monitor over to my right is also 1080p. So in my vision right now, I have you know, like, ultra-wide level of visual fidelity, right? Plus all of the other stuff in my vision. Just just in these two monitors alone, which takes up probably, like, just kind of being generous here. It's probably about uh, half of my... my, my, uh, my total, like, vision that I can see, right? Like, my total field of view is... And uh, definitely the monitor is taking up the vast majority of the, like, important stuff. Anyway, um, you know, if you're, if you're going VR with that, right? Like, the VR screens are only so, re like, only so detailed, right? Like, they only have so much resolution. It's like 1820 by 1400 or something like that. I can't remember. Um, but, uh, they only have so much, uh visual fidelity in them, and then if you were to go and, like, put in a monitor, if you were to put in, like, four monitors into it, you still only have that many pixels, right? You don't get more pixels by adding a 4K monitor. <laughs> you know, it, it can't be a 4K monitor, because the screen you're looking at isn't 4K. 
Um, so it's not like you can you can really do that, right? Like you can't really have a desk. You can do it. It's just not a very it's not a superior experience, right? I mean, it might be because you don't have to see your desk or whatever. But uh, from strictly a, a, a how many pixels can you look at, how much detail can there be in your screens, having actual screens is, is better than um, having actual screens is better than than putting virtual screens in your VR, you know, desktop, right? Um, but you know, we'll, uh, we'll see how it goes in, uh, in a week when I get it. We'll see how it goes. I'm excited for it. I'm so excited. It's all I can think about. I go to bed thinking about it. I wake up thinking about it. I go through the day just thinking about it. It's what I want most in my life right now is that VR headset. I'm so excited. So, so, so excited. I haven't been this excited for something I bought in like so long. It's It's been years since I've, I've been this excited about a purchase I made. You know? Because it's, 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 it's VR, dude. I'm finally doing it. I've been wanting it for years, right? I've been I've been wanting it, but just I haven't been able to afford it. The quest one was, in my opinion, just just below what I would consider necessary for for me to buy a VR headset. And the quest two increased, you know, the quest one specs quite a lot. Um, and it, it reaches it in in the price range that I have, and it's like. That, that's it, you know. Like that's this, 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 this is this is when I'm okay with it, right? Like this is this is the point at which I'm like, yeah, I'm I'm comfortable with this kind of uh, an investment into this kind of an experience, you know? Because the quest one, which was the previous one that I was most interested in, was only 75 hertz, I believe, which was I I didn't want that, you know. I wanted to if I'm spending so much money on uh, on a piece of hardware. Right? Like, I want to make sure that uh, I have the best opportunity possible, that I'm not going to get, like, motion sickness from it. Which, uh, the Quest 1... I mean, I might not have. I might have enjoyed it. It might have been worth my money, but... As somebody who's never used VR before, I was like, you know, I kinda... I want to make sure I have a little bit more... Um... Frame rate out of it, just to make the experience a little bit smoother. And 90 hertz with the, uh, the Oculus Quest 2 is going to support anyway um doesn't i don't believe it supports it just yet but like it's it's you know it's it's in the it's in the uh, it's in the books for it right um that's good enough for me right that's enough of a an upgrade for me to, to be like yep i want this and uh you know they finally VR is finally in a place where I'm able to actually get excited about it, you know? Because it's, it's always been this thing where I was like, yeah, you know, maybe if I win the lottery, I don't play the lottery, so I won't. But, <laughs> you know, like, like maybe at, uh, at some point in time, I, uh, you know, maybe my whole family dies and I come into a huge inheritance. <laughs> you know, maybe at that point I'll buy VR, but I think I'll have bigger things to worry about. Um... But it's 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 uh you know it's 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 finally brought down to a, a readily available form factor that that I can get behind and uh, I'm I'm just so excited I'm so excited to finally finally after after being excited about it for so long you know to to finally be able to to actually play in VR you know I've been I've been watching people play uh, like Beat Saber and. And, uh, I mean, Beat Saber is a game that I'm really excited about, honestly. Um, looks like fun. And it looks like a good workout, too, right? It looks like fun and a good workout. It's like, what more can you ask for, right? Um, I think it's great. And I'm so unbelievably hyped for it. So hyped. I don't know what uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do first with it though. Like obviously, first thing is I get it and then I set it up and I get it like 
working and like I you know download the game and go through the initial like setup of the room and blah 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 blah, blah whatever okay um, but uh, I don't know what I don't know what game I'm gonna play first or if it is gonna be a game or not I don't even know might not be a game that I play first it might be a, a chat or something you know I don't know Make these lost purchases count. what I do know is that uh, I'm so excited I'm so excited I'm so excited. I don't know what I'm going to do first. I think Beat Saber is probably going to be it. Because that's a game that I'm, I'm super excited about. Minecraft is a game that I'm the most excited about. But it, it requires a little bit of extra, um, like, fiddling. Which I'm not going to want to do as soon as, uh, as soon as I, um... Get it, you know? I'm not going to want to go through all that effort. I'm gonna wanna put it on, download a game, like play, you know, like just get an experience um, to play something and and have some kind of fun with it. Uh, excuse me, goodness gracious. Um, so Beat Saber will probably be what I do. I'm gonna go through the like VR, the Oculus VR headset store thingy or whatever and. Pick out uh, a couple of games probably before um, before it gets here, and then uh, when it comes, I'll, I'll probably download all of them and then start just picking whatever game I want. Somebody's showing it off to my family as well. I'm gonna show it off to everybody in the household, really, so everybody can kind of get an experience of VR for the first time. Actually, I think my sister may have in the past. I can't remember, um, but. Uh, that way I have like a variety of games where everybody can find something they might enjoy. Maybe a racing game for my father or something, I don't know. Um, but, I'm excited. It's a week away. <laughs> 12 videos, 12 videos, 12 videos. That's it. Unless it gets delayed. If it gets delayed, it gets delayed, you know. Whatever, right? Whatever. It's okay. It's okay if it gets delayed. Anyway, that's going to do it for today, so thank you for watching. Remember to like the video, if you like, subscribe to see more in the future, comment if you have anything to say, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.